Hey everybody, it's me again, uh, Debbie Meehan with Washington Fine Properties. I am uh, also, you know, filming from home again today. I um, had this idea that I thought I would ask you guys, what are you doing to keep your routine at home? Um, I've been able to work from home. I have a home office, um, so I don't necessarily have to go into my office to do business. Um, but it does feel a little lonely and I'm the kind of person who really enjoys having interaction with other people. So, um, I won't lie, I, you know, in the first few days of our little, um, social distancing and, um, quarantine, I was feeling a little, um, um, down, a little down in the dumps. So, um, one of the things that I did, and, um, I'm curious to see what you guys are doing, um, is that I tried to keep my routine. Um, one of the things I was really, really bummed about was um, the closing of the gyms. Um, it, for some of you people who know me, uh, know that I've um, recently um, started, you know, I've been concentrating on my health. So I've been a member of Orange Theory Fitness in Leesburg for um, a little over a year now. And I was really, really, um, bummed when they closed and I understand I understood why they needed to but I was nervous I was nervous about um, getting out of the routine not being able to get back into the routine when they opened so um, I decided to do a few things on my own the other thing that bummed me out is that my Pilates studio closed and I've been doing Pilates uh, Pilates once a week um, for a couple of years and I really enjoy it. So um, some of the things that I have implemented to make me feel a little bit more normal are um, uh, my Pilates instructor, Chris Abbott, go Chris Abbott, I'm gonna tag you on this, um, is doing a virtual mat class um, starting tomorrow. Um, you just have to like her uh, Facebook page and she's gonna be Facebooking it live, I believe. I'm not gonna be able to do tomorrow's class, but I am down for Wednesday and Friday. Um, and the other thing I did is that one of my goals for 2020 for fitness was to run 25k races in 2020, which was a big goal for me and made even more difficult now that, um, you know, two of the races that I was supposed to run have been, um, uh, postponed until later in the year. So it's, um, I'm still hoping to do 20 of them this year, but, um, you know, so what I did was, um, to, uh, this week I found a virtual 5k, a, um, Ella's race, which, um, was taking place in Raleigh, North Carolina, was supposed to be a regular 5k race and they switched it to a virtual race. So I signed up and I actually ran my virtual 5k today. So that was a lot of fun. Um, I did it by myself, so it wasn't my best time and it's not, you know, necessarily like the, um, same, you know, you know, with the hills and everything that I do around my house, it was um, it was a it was a pretty tough uh, 5K for me. But um, I got that done. I feel good about that, and it makes me feel like I'm still sticking with my routine. Um, the other thing that happened today was I did a virtual wine tasting with my friends at Stone Tower Winery. They did a virtual. Um, tasting it turns out that I had most of the selections that they were tasting already at home um, but in case I didn't um, they are doing curbside delivery so if you call or order wine or even pizzas they are open every day now um, not um, not just um, um, they were used to be closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays but now they're open every day um, to do um, curbside delivery of bottles and pizza and select like charcuterie um, and they are also um, their outdoor spaces are open um, if you are you know practicing your social distancing and the cool thing about that is that people are able to bring their dogs so that's fun so certainly in the winery when I went to pick up the bottle of wine that I needed to do my tasting uh, the winery was not um, busy but it did have a few people there and I was able to participate in the virtual tasting, which was a lot of fun. Um, and we were able to like type our questions and they answered them live there. So um, people are making their way, people are um, figuring it out. We're all trying to do our best to make things um, as normal as possible. Um, hopefully this is short lived and we'll be able to get back to normal, but um, 
until that happens, we are just keeping the faith and we are doing what we need to do and um, just keeping the routine. Um, I would love to hear what you guys are doing. Um, message me, comment below. Um, I look forward to hearing from you.